Hi, Super Spruce here, Bell, and so I want to mention this new game minus four video, episode nine. And I have 38 dimensions. I can galactic sacrifice for four galaxy points. Or, um, okay, I'm not going to do that. Or I could, you know, dimension boost. That's probably what I'm going to do. Or I could time dimension shift, which I may do. Except I think the regular dimension boost is just going to be a little bit more worth it. The tick speed boost, no. It's going to reset my dimension boost and time dimension shifts. So I'm just going to do the regular dimension boost. This should give me five galaxy points if I get to 38 dimensions. Oh, yeah, I need to first buy the first dimensions. And then I can actually do this. So this is going to be the fastest it's ever going to feel just because I have seven dimension um, boosts. That's it's pretty crazy. Like, I think seven dimension boosts... Like, like, in the vanilla game, I think you have, like, eight dimension boosts when you get the first galaxy. So, yeah, here, I'm already up to the sixth time dimension, already up to the fourth dim regular dimension. And, yeah, you can just, you can just see that this, this beginning part is going to feel quite fast. It's, I'm already seeing, like, 65% or something like, like, 65% on, like, this, like, the second over second there. So you can see 40, 50, 70, 80. Can I can I get 90? And no, I, I think I, I think the highest there was 84 percent, but that, that, that's okay because I'm gonna get another shot with the sixth dimension, which is probably gonna let's see 50, 60, 70, 94, 97. I saw 97 percent. So I, I think I'm gonna be able to get to 100 percent second or second. Like, eventually, once I get the 7th dimension here. Here is the 7th dimension. 40, 50, 60, 70. There it is. 100. I, I saw 114. 114 percent second over second. That's pretty crazy. And then also, I'm going to soon start getting the 8th dimension. Which is probably going to be even better than the 7th dimension. So here is the 8th dimension. Let's see, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, I saw 120, that, that's what I'm going to go by, 120% second over second, crazy. So it looks like I can only get 3 galaxy points even with 10 8th dimensions, which may be a little bit worrisome, I, I mean, of course I could get up to, I think it was like E38 that I needed for the time dimension shift. Um, the, the next time dimension shift, which could help me get more galaxy points, but it's still like I, I sort of just want, want to get these the five galaxy points as quickly as possible. I don't know. I, I just no, no one likes slow slowness in incremental games, so yeah. There's really not much else I can do other than just keep grabbing these upgrades. I can dimensional sacrifice. Uh, that should help things. Maybe I can. Also, just get some of these while I'm waiting because it costs nothing. And okay, now I'm actually starting to get more antimatter. And honestly, it's just gonna be boring from here on out. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple hours later, and I can get um 38th dimension. So hopefully four. Oh no, only four galaxy points. That's unfortunate. I think I have to do a time dimension shift. I think that does help. So. Yeah, I, th I thought I was able, maybe if I just click M, no, um, nothing. So, that's very unfortunate to do another prestige. But hopefully, this will allow me to get as much, or get five galaxy points. I'm, I'm actually surprised I could not get five galaxy points right there. But, yeah, I guess that's how it is. There is now eighth time dimensions, which means... Um, there's no more time dimension shifts, it's just going to be time dimension boosts. So, at least there's that. And I I really don't want to do a tick speed boost. That's like, just please, no tick speed boost, because that, that resets everything. So, um, yeah, I'm, th this is essentially just going to be about the same speed as before. Maybe a little bit faster, but not really. So, yeah, seen a bit... Okay, I just got 38th Dimensions again, and I can Galactic Sacrifice for 5 Galaxy Points. 
This is huge. Because it's actually going to allow me to increase all dimension multipliers. Also, I've also actually heard that New Game Minus 4, the dilation penalty, which it's normally each exponent is raised to the 0.75 power. With New Game Minus 4, it's actually just raised to the 0.7 power. So it's even, it's, yeah, it's even more nerfed. But anyway, 5 galaxy points here. Hopefully there's no rounding errors. I'm actually going to export my save in case there are weird rounding errors. Looks like I can get this. I could have chose that, but I feel like this could be a better choice because, like, especially like since it's if it's gonna apply to time dimensions, that could be huge. So, I, yeah. So let, let's see if there's any noticeable difference at first. Of, of course, there's the. Actually, I can just literally just do one and then that, and then it's actually a faster way to do it like that, but. Anyway, it looks like I can get uh, two fourth time dimensions, and that's about it. I'm I'm not sure if if I, if I notice it yet. I think eventually I'll notice it. Like I'm also it feels like it feels like it's actually a little faster than than it was before already. So that's that's a really good sign. It feels like I have some dimension, like two dimension shifts already. So I feel like yeah that that's this is gonna be a really nice burst of speed that I definitely needed I'm the thing is that it's boring because I have to get the galaxy first and then the galaxy does barely anything so I'm thinking of actually doing this off camera until I get the galaxy I'm, I'm not really sure this is definitely faster though I'm, I'm actually definitely noticing the speed change it's taking only about one minute to just reach the um, reach fourth dimensions here and I, the thing is with this run, I'm trying to get the um, the time dimension shift, the fourth time dimension shift, and then I start get, um, doing the normal runs. So let's see, I'm I'm, I'm getting pretty I'm pretty close. I'm okay, I'm almost there. I need E9 antimatter, and I need, yeah, five E9, and I'm at two E9. So this is definitely um, pretty easy, and boom time dimension shift and this will definitely help things and I, I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to reach everything okay like I, like I feel like each dimension shift could take as little as a single minute to reach and it's gonna be exciting after I get the galaxy yeah I'm, I'm just gonna do the pre galaxy stuff off camera so yeah see you in another bit Okay, I'm back and I can get a galaxy, so now let's see how fast this is going to be. I feel like it's going to be pretty fast because look, look at this. Well, first of all, there's these freebies, but now um, I still think it's going to be quite fast. Like it, with with this galaxy upgrade, yeah, this is going to this is going to be pretty overpowered. It may not seem very fast at first, but I feel like once I start getting, once I start racking up the dimension shifts, it's going to start to really feel. Fast. So of course, I still need some of the time dimension shifts. There's this one time dimension shift that's a little annoying. So I'm actually going to do this off camera. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, here it is. The next time dimension shift. This is going to allow me to um, start really getting more antimatter. Like you can see just how much faster this is than last run. Just because of the time dimension shifts. Having the five time dimensions instead of four really does make a difference. It gives me a lot more tick speed upgrades and this is where it's gonna be like one minute per dimension shift until probably like 28th dimensions so yeah let's see like we're, we're already at like at 55 percent up there we, I can get all the way to 55 percent and this is just with four dimensions with more dimensions this is this is gonna it's gonna get this is gonna be really fast once I once I really start getting the dimension shifts it's like you can see I mean, this is just a, the second dimension shift. It's not all that much faster than the first one, but it's gonna definitely once once I rack them up, you're you're gonna see a big difference. So there's, there's just this slow er spot. It's still actually it's still fast for new game minus 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 minus. Like think about it. It's like one. It's like it's like somewhere around. I mean, I know this is episode nine, but this would be like, be the speed of like episode four of new game minus 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 so 
I mean, and this is this is what's one additional minus. Yeah, so here it is already fifth dimensions, and yeah, this this is where things really. I, I'm always I keep saying this. This is where things pick up, but yeah, this there, the thing is there is this little bit of a slow spot between um, the second dimension and the third dimension. Where you can't really get all that much stuff, but here, like once I start getting to third dimensions. Um, it gets easier and easier to get like the next dimension. So yeah, you can see, I think I saw 60% there. It's definitely, once I start getting fourth dimensions, it's gonna probably get more than 60. Yeah, that was 70, 70, 80, 90, that, was, that went over 90% on the first dimension, second over second. And now all of a sudden, I'm up to fifth dimensions where it's gonna, again, gonna be fast. 90, 100, 105. Almost 110, which is crazy. I could even like start doing like the hotkeys for the dimensions, like one, two, and three, or one through eight for all the dimensions. But yeah, this is now with the next dimension shift done. This is gonna, yeah. Now, now this is this is where things get overpowered. Honestly, it honestly feels like fast for the first time in new game minus 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 minus, or ex except for the first three time dimension shifts. But this actually feels fast it's like especially once I get the fourth dimensions fourth dimensions I think is where things really like start to actually feel fast instead of just not slow so yeah I, I got to not again 95% from the just having fifth or that was fourth dimensions fifth dimensions I can get it a little over a hundred percent it's actually not not much faster than last time. It's probably because I need to get more of these time dimensions. And that will definitely speed things up as I get more tick speed upgrades. Now with the six dimensions. Six dimensions are pretty overpowered. I can also just do this and I, I saw 130%. And now I'm very close to the seventh dimensions. So all I need is um, E12. And there it is. Next dimension boost. I, I'm now, it's now at the point where I can actually start getting... Um, galaxy points except again I'm gonna go for five galaxy points okay I'm back up to fifth dimensions here and this is this is where things get overpowered hundred and hundred and thirty percent for the fifth dimensions and sixth dimensions are just gonna be even more overpowered than that I, I'm keeping it like above fifty percent here and that was that was a hundred almost hundred and forty percent second over second and even like as, as it dips down again it's it's like the lowest it's gonna be is like 50 percent so see 100 180 percent that that's a new record that I think the previous record is like 150 percent and this is just seventh dimensions once I get eighth dimensions that's gonna be even more power I can probably get some of these time dimensions while I'm waiting as well and now eighth dimensions and just literally everything else that was almost 200 percent that was 196 that's what it peaked at and I didn't even need to do that because, you know, and now it's the 8th Dimensions. I now get, with no tick speed upgrades, 14 antimatter per second. Which, re like, that's that's really starting to feel fast. Like, I think the Galaxy is actually starting to make a difference as I get more and more tick speed upgrades. I think at this point, I'm going to go for 20 8th Dimensions. Um, I feel like, yeah, I, I think 20 8th Dimensions is the way to go. Instead of the... Actually, I think I can do the time dimension shift. Which isn't even that much. All I need is... Um, 10 fifth time dimensions. All I need for that is probably like... Something like E10 antimatter. So, like I'm... Yeah, look at this. I'm up to 7. Yeah, this is, this is gonna... This is gonna be super quick. Actually, I will export just in case it, it does reset my dimension shifts. I doubt it will, but it... It may. There's that. There's that little chance that it will. And um, here it is. Okay. Okay. I still have my dimension boosts. That's really all that matters. Because now with the new time dimension, it's gonna be even faster. I think the best strategy is to alternate the dimension boosts with the time dimension boosts or time dimension shifts. And I'm gonna need the. I'm gonna need seven dimension boosts and. Um, and I'm gonna also need, I think, seven time dimension shifts, or at least the one, the one that gives eighth time dimensions. So, yeah, this is gonna be even faster because 
with this 130, 170% at only fifth dimensions. Once I get six dimensions, which is right here, let's see how far I can get. 180 at six dimensions. In seventh dimensions, it's right around the are, are right around the corner now. Here, here they are, and two. I, I saw two forty percent. That is definitely a new record, and I think eighth dimensions are going to be even more powerful. So here they are, and there is actually another achievement over in thirty seconds. Um, so okay, I'll I'll tell you what that achievement. This achievement is well, actually I also got this, which is have your antimatter per second exceed your current antimatter above. 2.6 E E34, or in regular notation, it's actually E63, I think. Um, and maybe change for new game minus four. This one is have antimatter per second exceed your current antimatter for 30 consecutive seconds. So that's actually um, that's actually really it's, it's it's a nice achievement to have. It doesn't get, have any reward, but it's still nice just to have the achievements at all. Also, I have any I have even gotten that many of these time dimensions. Yeah, again, do, do that while I'm sacrificing. That's the best idea. So, all of a sudden, I'm actually close to 28th dimensions, which means another dimension boost. And here I am, another dimension boost. Now I'm gonna go for the time dimension boost. Maybe I didn't, maybe I only had four, yeah, 14 antimatter per second because I had not just one, but 10 first dimensions, that's why. It wasn't like, oh my god, it's so much faster. No, it's, it's, it, I think, it, yeah, it's just because I had um, more of the, of the first dimensions than usual. Well, I, I can just click one, and that saves some clicks that I have to do. So, yeah, that's why I do that, and, yeah, I'm almost 200% with only fifth dimensions, with six dimensions. Let's see, one... 200, 210, I, I think I saw it crack 210%, and here it's going to be even more overpowered, I, I saw 260, 260%, second over second, with the first, first dimensions, and now all of a sudden I'm up to 8th dimensions, and it was again about the same, two, I saw it at 264%, so yeah, and you can see how fast it is even like here, it's still at like 100% because of just all the speed. I can probably get some time dimensions as well. Again, I'm actually going for the time dimension shift, not even the regular um, regular dimension boost. I'll get these while I'm waiting. I guess I can just get some of these while I'm waiting. It doesn't really do much, but it does something, I guess. So I'll get it. And I think I need a little more than 28 dimensions. Like I need something like E29 or something for the for this time dimension. Shift, you know, I need two E to A. So it's about three orders of magnitude, or just two orders of magnitude hexadecimally um, more than the, than the, um, for, than the amount I need for 28th dimensions. So yeah, I'm, I'm almost there now. And this is not gonna be all that much faster than before, but maybe it will be a little bit faster. So I, I'm just gonna do this particular run off camera and actually the next one after I get 38th dimensions which definitely won't even be that hard to get just because it's it's the same thing over and over again I don't want I don't want to bore you with repetitive content so yeah see you in a bit okay it's been a while but I have finally gotten the seventh time dimension boost and the seventh dimension boost which means that I, it's yeah, it's gonna be overpowered and actually I've been doing a different strategy here where I've just been Spamming the button or spamming the keys one through eight and T to get the tick speed upgrades and Honestly, this this seems to be working even better than number four because and then I briefly go out to get some of the time dimensions like this and I can get I it's already 240% at the fifth dimension and once I get to the sixth dimension, that's 300. I think I saw 330%. I'm now just gonna go get the eighth time dimension and all that, and try it again. And 340%. I think it's even crazier at the eighth dimension. 500%. Oh my god, that I I think I, I've seen like 370 before, but 500. Oh my god, that that is 
OP, and all you need is 38 dimensions. And remember that the 7th time dimension boost actually costs a little bit more antimatter than it takes to get the 3rd time dimension, um, or the thir 38th dimension, that's what I mean. And it only starts, it only really starts to slow down once I get up to 28th dimensions here. And I can, st I can still like dimensional sacrifice, and that gives a, a decent multiplier. It gives, so now it's like a 20 times multiplier to eight, the 8th eighth dimension, so it's not quite a 20 times, it's because of the dilation nerfs, it's more like 10 times, but whatever. And I can start getting more of the 8th time, or just more of the time dimensions in general here, and that will help me get more tick speed upgrades, and it's essentially just going to be the same thing here, it's just going to be slower, so... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get up to 38 dimensions off camera and next episode. I will get this galaxy upgrade So yeah, hope you enjoyed peace out